Hello, I'm Stephen Mason and it's been a productive week. It really has been a productive week. But it's not going to be an expensive week for Stephen. Now, I recently just posted two different videos for The Fog and They Live. And um, this week as well, saw the recent on Steelbook. But I wasn't going to go out and buy the Steelbooks. I love these. And I've been told um, of the Panda Man himself, Luke, that possibly Prince of Darkness will not be released because of something to do with uh, licensing. So I'm hoping they do. I've got Escape from New York on order from them, um, but they have released Steelbooks. Now jump cut, because someone, not me, missed their cue when I talk about Steelbooks. Now here they are. I'm looking in the camera, I haven't even looked at these properly. Um, the Fog, um, first off, I thought that should be green. I'm sorry, I didn't realise that should be green. That should be. Should be green. And we've got They Live as pink. So I'm going for They Live a bit pink. So you've got a bear sleep and all that going on there. They Live, We Sleep. That's pretty cool on the back. That's like a... Uh, Dark City comment that. <laughs> and on the back, it's got the Moonlight Cove. Really interesting documentary as well. Um, and commentary by John Carpenter. I have been watching it. It's weird. The uh, menu screens are really good, but there's no music. Um, so on these, you get the four di three discs, but you don't get the soundtrack. That's why I've had to bring these here, because they don't have the soundtrack. Someone's missed the queue again because he's realised Netflix is now on his Skybox all these films behind us and he realizes netflix another jump cut prince of darkness is coming it's on its way and it's green but there's nothing to do with the covers i've got anyway back to the rant about this video now you've seen the title you know what the title is but like again casper's totally missing his cue hello there we go there's casper so this week seeing phase two as it's called by hmv releasing the hmv hmv VHS collection, as you know, last time Casper bought all of them, all twelve, including the misspelled um, Scarface. Scarface. Yes. Um, and basically, um, one day I saw the release of more, and guess how many I bought? How many did I buy? Two. I bought none. Do you have one? I thought you no, bought any. Mm. How many did you buy? Eleven. Twelve. Well, you could have just said all of them. Okay, all of them. So there is Casper's brand new built shelf, and. Um, so this week, I'm going to guess, Grease is new, Crocodile Dundee, first time that's been released on Blu-ray in the UK, Dream. Flash Dance, sorry, Dream. Trading Places, Dream. Places. Dream. sorry, Trading Places, Clue, Up and Smoke, you've never smoked weed in your life. Sorry, that was a drug reference, jump cut. We've even been to Amsterdam together. This is very true. Go and stand next to him. Go and stand next to him. <laughs> oh, class <laughs> <laughs> Is that good for you, Coop? <laughs> anyway, jump cut. The thing. Um, Scarface, the misspelt one. Did you not buy Scarface, the right spelt one? No. Go in your collection. No, touchy, touchy. We also have The Breakfast Club, Back to the Future, that's a new one, isn't it? Yeah. No. Blues no, Brothers. No, Back to the is... No, but sure, Back to the Future 2 should have really been in the second wave. Yeah. The new e. ones are those ones. Jurassic yeah. Park, Jaws, Tremors, Frighteners, and... American Wild Wolf and London. So yeah, Casper just finished that off. So we have some up close shots. Casper's probably going to pick out his two favourite of the new ones. Well, there's also the other one. Well, the, hang on, there is, yeah. So well, that was going to be a jump cut. There is that, but guess what? There's going to be an outtake with that in my house. So you can put Nicolas Cage back where he came from. Because if you're going to do it, you're going to have to do it right. So Casper's first choice of just wanted to show you what the like. Clue. Is clue. Very asked about film. It's the first time it's been available. In oh, DVD. No, it wasn't. It's been around here. So is it just like last time VHS? Yeah. You get your cards with Tim Curry on. The legend. Excellent. Beep beep, Richie. Had to stop her screaming. Yeah, and sorry. quarter on the back. What the? Get the had to stop what screaming? You sound like a rapist. He slapped her. Oh, had it. All right, I didn't read that. <laughs> Is this a picture of like, I thought you were showing a picture of the woman, I think, Jesus, I got dark very quickly, Casper. No, that's just you. Um, the poster? A bit more the house. light. Yeah. 
<laughs> Casper's always behind camera. He's always Casper's brilliant at doing this. I am. When I prefer the being in front of there. Casper would be like, oh yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Now, I personally wanted Crocodile Dundee, but I think Crocodile Dundee should be brought out as a double pack, even a triple pack if you want to really put it in. So Jaws was one I was going to get. Um, so this is Jaws. This comes on VHS. Jaws is a 12. He's got some behind his back. Inside, it does have what the rest have. Gonna ha you're going to need a bigger plot, bigger plot, bigger boat. So that was Jaws. Now that was the one I was going to buy, but I refused to buy it. I was thinking. Now I bought some crazy stuff this week. I've been buying yeah. crazy stuff for a while. John Carpenter, the thing. I've been sensible. Vinyl. And vinyl, yes. I bought the Doom soundtrack. That'll be in the outtakes as well. That was Big Dave's fault. Um, so that was Jaws. What have you got behind your back? There we go, Crocodile Dundee, one and two is a double feature. Yeah, don't put Jaws back, we need it. Unrated. Where's the third one? Where's Mike Tyson? It's important, that's why it's unrated. That's that's why it should be a double pack. It should, it should be like Beverly Hills Cop. So anyway, why did I want Jaws? Because I have the original. There we go, look at that. It's a PG. Yeah, see? That's because when it's released on a new format, they review it and re Well, that's it, because Halloween is now 15. Um, but yeah. So I decided, you know, I have an original. Hang on, I've got some light going there, you know. Well, yeah. There we go. Has been rewound. Big it's PG. B, yeah, so yeah. And it's the original CIC uh, label on the inlet. Oh, it's legit. So, you know, I thought with myself, I've got the steelbook of Jaws. Do you have the steelbook of Jaws? I do have the steelbook of Jaws. It's just right Jaws. there. Which is one of the most expensive and rare ones ever. And one of the most pointless ones because yes, it has a lovely cover. Yes, the transfer is amazing. Yes, it's a brilliant film. It's fuck all on the back. Mm -hmm. It's as white as you on the back. It's like look, mirror, Casper. Yeah. So that's that, what it is. I've got the steel. I've got that. Now I have seven, maybe eight co copies of Jaws and VHS, including the super ultra rare one, Casper. <laughs> Spielberg one. Spelling mistake one. Yes, they've spelled Steven wrong on them. <laughs> well done. Steven Spielberg spelt wrong on the front cover of Steven Spielberg's Jaws. This is legit as well. So, saving money. There we go. Saved money. So I didn't get that one. I was going to get that one, but I didn't get that one. Because last time I've only got The Thing. Another copy of The Thing. The thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna take the thing off. You know who? It, it, it's it's time to change. It's a felled man. <laughs> and the Corys of the universe. The other one I was gonna get was. Now I think on. Wait a minute. Wait 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 a minute. A minute. Jump to my house. Hello. In my room. Brightness signed. Uh, I'm going horror on this this year. Got to meet the one and only Jeffrey Combs. Say Frighteners means a lot. Was going back to day in New Zealand. So Stephen, you're under arrest, Jeffrey Combs. So I wasn't going to risk taking that to Casper's, he'd probably go, oh, I'll swap you for something. No, Casper, mine says to Stephen. There's an the N on the end of Steve N. There we go, Frighteners. Um, I grew up in New Zealand when Frighteners came out. I have Frighteners still on VHS and got it signed by Jeffrey Combs on Steelbook. Frighteners was going to be one. And there is Frighteners. The original cover. Um, Frighteners, is, to me, he's never had a jumpy out cover. Um, Michael J. Fox, Casper is always going to buy this. And it's an outstanding movie. It's probably one of the best movies to come out of New Zealand. And I know you've got Lord of the Rings. I know you've got King Kong. That is brilliant. And you've got the steelbook there. As you've just seen back in my house. Yeah, it's one of them weird landscapey ones. Centenary collection. Okay. Castle there. So I was going to get that. Jurassic Park, I still have the original. And just recently got the big box VHS. That has been in retro videos recently. But the other one I ordered and was going to get is Tremors. The film that is called Sand Sharks. The film that totally rips it out the page of Jaws. I mean, come on. Could you be any more Jaws? Now, I didn't have to bring my steelbook because Casper has a steelbook of it, which would have looked really good as a collection. There's a right behind us, just there. Yeah, I've got Tremors 1. You've got Tremors 2 to 6. I'll give it a big Dave. Why did you give Big Dave Tremors? I'm sure I'll give it a big Dave. Right, I'm not no disrespect to Big Dave, but like, is that your only copy in the steelbook? Well, well, yeah. So your steelbook's down there, and your Tremors collection is incomplete. 
Well, no, it's complete. See, this is right? why. This is why. You, this so is why I've got a problem, right? If you just leave that there, right? Universal Steel. are bastards for alternative covers. As I get my bag of tricks. See, why did I not buy tremors? Two reasons. One, I have the original big box VHS. Now check that out. That is a VHS. See how I see video again. These are some of my favourites for videos. See, I don't talk to the camera. It's not slightly rewound that. Slightly rewound, well, I haven't watched it there, but that is it. I love the cover. I love the cover of the original. The broken font, the jaws rip off, the ooze, and Kevin Bacon, though, I mean, it, Fred Ward, it should be Kevin Bacon, Fred, Fred Ward. Ward. It should. Um, Fred Ward, that's why it's funny when you go to Tremors 2. Fred Ward, and then it's Michael Gloss, and then Jamie Kennedy comes along with the paycheck, and he gets his name up there as well. So I love the cover of that. Now, it's not the reason why I didn't buy it, as I also have the steelbook, I also have, I'm just going to get my random bag. Ooh. Oh, yeah, and a foreign language one, you know, that's the quality you get out there. Mel Gibson, Pan Bodder, whatever that is, but I don't even want to pronounce that. Oh yeah, it's from Prague. <laughs> but this is why, Universal of Bastards, right? So we have a blue theme going on with Blu-ray, they were clever, go, oh let's go blue for blue. And we lost the original cover. So the missing one, funny enough, from Casper's collection is this one. That is the one. So that's the one that's missing from the collection. So they went from blue, so they dropped the orange. And then for a 25th anniversary, oh, we're bringing out a 25th anniversary, they brought out this. And guess what? Look all else different. Just went 25th anniversary, cropped it back in, dropped a bit more sunset, and that's what we got. So I refuse to buy Tremors again. I refuse. After all the rant with the thing the other week, this is me cracking down. Finally. You buy you, it, I bet you. I will not buy it. it. Don't call me Paul Ray and jump on the bandwagon and then sell it five months later. Hi Paul Ray, you alright? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Now last but not least, I got you a present. That's for you. Oh, I got a thing? There we go, the thing. The thing? The thing thing? Best thing about it is... 1099, the man is the warmest place to hide. So I thought I'd give you a present, you know, since I came in here and went, oh, look at your collection, and just abused your room. I thought I'd give you a present. Would you like a present as well? Well, not actually, because I still have two presents off you. You do? In the outtakes, i got two parcels off Casper. Now, one of them, he will not tell us what it is. It's got something to do with the Lost Boys. It is a pop final, I'm not that stupid. But which one it is, I don't know. And two Blu-rays. So there'll be an outtake with something to do with Mandy crossed with Doom. Yes. Yeah, that's all Doom. Doom. Mandy, Doom. Yeah, oh look. And your goggles. Yeah, I'm going swimming after this. Now you look like some old Mad Max. I look like common person of content like this. <laughs> but yeah, oh I do want a present. What are we getting? Yeah, I'll have to wait and see. Well, well, come on. Casper said he was going to get us some that, that sounds like a fucking dungeon unlocking. Or a shotgun. Flight of the Navigator on Steelbook. Done a podcast for this. And that's the actual image I use for the podcast. It's got some scratches on that one, Casper. Oh, it's come back. I can hear him. Has he brought me a child? Wasn't he like started Dumbo? So I'm getting a present. What is it? Wow! I didn't realise it was dead small. Hey. The fog? Single. Single? How would you get this from? It was in uh, one of my Z boxes years ago. And look. It's green. It is totally green. That's awesome. See, the fog should be green. No, look on the back as well. Jim Lee Curtis. Who I fucking proper nice and that's what the cover on my VHS. Cut back to my house with the VHS. But there's the fog. I was on about the cover. There is the fog. See, look at that. There we go. He gets the thing off me and I get the fog back. John Carpenter all around. It's a John Carpenter thing now. It it's is. a case of John Carpenter. What John Carpenters do you have in Steelbook? I must have them all. <laughs> is that the only one? I don't have um, Steelbook, but I have Collector's Edition with a Salt on Precinct 13. Is that a bit sour? Yeah. I wish I bought that when I've seen it. We only got like four of them in. I know. And another one, it's got a soundtrack in. It seems to be a thing with these things at the moment, giving soundtracks. I just hope my Christine comes in. Christine. 
That has become my favourite song of John Carpenter. That on the other hand, no, no love for that. I mean, the classic. Course and Wild. Classic, my ass. <laughs> Do you want this back? Do you know your daughter looks like the, the girl on the front cover of Village of the Damned? No. <laughs> so, Mandy, Mandy's out, Nicholas Cage, and you want to do it right? There we go, Mandy. You want to do it right? I'm going to have to stand here all this way and go, look, Mandy's out. So Mandy's come out, it's come out on um, DVD and Blu-ray. The hype around this film has been unbelievable. Hurricane Rain brought the soundtrack. And I think it had a very limited short release at this pictures. But Nicolas Cage, um, he's still a battleable star, although he pops out movies every year. He's had fucking so many in the last one, Southern Fury, Vengeance, um, Humanity Bureau, uh, 211. He just, it's Nicolas Cage, but to see Nicolas Cage bang on the front cover, covered in blood with a chainsaw, I'm sold on that. Sold enough that I bought. The limited VHS and some of these VHSs, this VHS is going on eBay from 40 to 80 pound. Just that, just the standard. Um, basically, this obviously HMV ranges came along, and Eureka is bringing out Fright Night as well. So there's a bit of a surge into these. I do think these should be hardback, but yeah, I'm gonna go change the camera and get a little bit more closer on Mandy. So yeah, I've just said change angle. Well, obviously, guess what. It's a shadow on my face and my name's not Dean Cundy. Light in my light. No, shadows on my face like the fog's rolling in. Um, yeah, I meant to change the camera angle because of the box, gooned it. So yeah, testing the fog. I'm gonna have to put this up. Casper, thank you very much, mate. I'm totally over the moon with this. Like, didn't realize it was a little bit. Look at that, it's amazing. And borrowed watches. Hopefully it's uh, Watches 1 and 2. Never seen Watches 2, massive fan of Watches 1. Casper's had this for a very long time. Always wanted to borrow it, then got to realize it's a region one. Can someone play a region one there? I hope so. Um, fogs are back. There's the fog. There is the fog. I may have not jump cut it before jump cutting in, but there's the fog. I was on about the cover. There is the fog. And here's Mandy. Right, back to Mandy. Where'd I put Mandy? Mandy, where are you? So yeah, there's Mandy. Now I don't have a chainsaw. Um, I have a bad habit of opening these really badly. Looking around, I don't think I've got anything that can open this very, very quickly. Very, very sinister. Do I keep anything lying around? Not at all. Um, anyway. Just open it there. So yeah, open it up. Um, it's exactly the same as my thing one, so on the front cover. Slightly changed the front cover. It's got a bit of old school nostalgia going there. Um, no, um, but, uh, no. No, I don't know what I'm trying to sing for. It's a VHS, so I'm guessing it's a throwback. It's like, have you ever seen a film called Cold in July? Have you? Have you heard of Cold in July? Cold in July is on Amazon right now. This is an amazing steelbook. Look at this steelbook, right? I bought it because it looks like a VHS. This film was ahead of its time. VHS inside of it, old-fashioned VHS, like it's been rented. Stars Dexter, Michael C. Hall, an amazing movie. Don't want to spoil it. This film was that good, it's the only film in maybe a decade I went out and bought the soundtrack to, recently, until I got records, but all the soundtrack, the soundtrack is mint, it's a score, throwback to the 80s, amazing film, amazing steelbook, so anyway, back to this rant, Andy, Mandy, obviously the same design is used in the HMVs, but it's not exclusive, it comes with the R cards, so that's going to absolutely, that is going to absolutely kill Casper, he's on about these little R cards before, you're the special one, Mandy. And uh, I'm literally going to be giving that to Matty Connor. Bit of rage and Nicolas Cage. Matty Connor wrote this for ages ago. Steel Town Music and Nicolas Cage was here. Keep your eye out. That has been in the videos for absolutely ages. Lying around there. Like stuff like Jeff. Um, but yeah, two discs there. Just so I want it all Mandy. So yeah, it's got the DVD and it's got the Blu-ray inside there as well. Um, but yeah, that is literally going to do Casper's head in if these Eureka ones and that come out Friday night in the same design. Look at that. That's, that's amazing. There's a little mini poster in there. So I'm really happy to get that part of the collection. That's what I went for instead of Jaws, instead of Tremors. You know, because I have the Tremors steelbook and then I thought, you know what? 
I'm making this video even more randomer. Tremors box set. Wow, that just landed on my record player. Amazing. You know, bird gummer, you motherfucker. Um, yeah, it's only, it's okay. Global video, just committed to That's what fell off the shelf. That is as retro as you want to get. So, that's Mandy. So, as I take uh, Bon Jovi, just listen on that, you know, like Billy, Billy, get you going. Um, I've got to do an unboxing for this in a separate video. This is the Doom soundtrack I had to buy yesterday. I'll tell you why in that other video. But, I've got two boxes here. Two boxes, and I want to, I can't put, oh, where the fuck I put it? The fog. Where did the fog go? I sat down here to put the fog on the thing. It's there. It's there. So I don't know how to put the fog on while I mess around. Not be able to play it because it's uh, copyright, but anyway. Um, what we're talking about here. So there's a pop file and there's two Blu rays. And this might be a shout out to Action Jack himself, as there should be two Blu rays in here. First up, Memoirs of the Invisible Man, John Carpenter. Trail it the fuck back in the day. And um, I love the Invisible Man. I've got the horror collection up there. And directed by John Carpenter, but. You know, was Chevy Chase, John Carpenter, it's a bit of a comedy, Daryl Honey, you know what I mean, back in the day, it's like massive appeal, fell off the radar, never seen that for ages, happy to have that, only like £7, and the other one is Village of the Damned, John Carpenter, and Casper's kid, Kaylee, you beware of the children indeed, Christopher Reed, Kirsty Allen, and Mark Hamill, big cast, you know, big cast, so there were the two, and this is the box, what is this, pop vinyl, I know it's one of three, I've had pre-order for absolutely ages and you expect all three of them to come and this is the first one um, and it is <laughs> Corey Haim Corey Haim finally comes along Sam em Emerson from the Lost Boys um, I have Michael and David on order and hopefully we'll be getting the Frog Brothers so yeah that's why I'm not really spending any money buying their things the first Lost Boys for the collection which would be an outtake have it up on the shelf. So having Stephen Mason, I think this is everything filmed to do with um, the VHS range part two. I've guessed there will be a phase three, and uh, look out for the Doom video, which I'm going to film right now as well. But for now, I'm mean, Stephen Mason once again. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> and the Corys of the universe. If you're Feldman, does that make me here, man? makes you white man you can't jump anyway um what did you want i was going to say i could probably just look and grab white men can't jump there <coughs> that's an outtake for you that was a white man can't jump thing what did it drop no one no it's another <laughs> nicholas cage film <laughs> yeah you should have known i was going to drop that oh look there's nicholas cage oh look there's nicholas cage Matty Connor would love it in here. This is an outtake just from Matty Connor. It's a Nicolas Cage, Nicolas Cage Outcast. Nicolas Cage. There's probably loads. Vengeance is probably there. Mom and Dad, Nicolas Cage there. Mm -hmm. Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Nicolas <laughs> Cage. Okay, Jaws. So Jaws, 25th anniversary silver. The one with Steven Spielberg spelled wrong. Unbelievable. The one I've just had at Casper's. We've got the Hollywood Golden Collection. I've dropped one. Um, Jaws, standard, widescreen. No, sorry, that's the widescreen, completely different video. And oh, oops, by mistake, Jaws the Revenge. So yeah, I do have all the Jaws in there. Jaws Freeze just there. There's Jaws is everywhere, but that's just Jaws. There's a completely retro video about all these. Anyway, back to Caspers. He's an outtake for you. Why can you not put them in alphabetical order? They're in numerical order. Casper, man, let it go. They're also in supplier order across the You top. know what? You know what you should put them in? Coloured stripe order? Do you think about that one? Yeah, but then the logos won't match up. Oh my god. So you all are paramount. Dude, I'm and sure. And then you, universal. I'm sure you can get ten free sessions of therapy for the NHS. And my tremors is missing. So yeah, <laughs> your pitch is wrong. Nick Casper has two copies of the commando. Here's an outtake for you, I always want to do this because I bought it and now I don't have it, I never got to open it. But I recently got to see Logan, Noir cut, someone told me that the blood was red in the Noir and I was like, alright cool, wasn't, so. But yeah, I bought this, no longer have it, Logan. 
and yeah awesome steelbook i've always wanted to see what was inside there logan noir like that's it just a little slipcase little dog tag little little hands logan so yeah expensive steelbook nothing around the back there but yeah let's just now take the logan steelbook okay here's the end of the video there is sam emerson also known as Corey Ham, on the top shelf along with the lost boys same one billy worth there and all the different copies of the lost boys underneath all the copies of the thing there's another copy of the thing and um, i do have a cory feldman one is a whoosh along the room here we tragically died in the making of the burbs video still kept him though but as i bring the camera down and uh what the hell happened to the simpsons simpsons of uh i think that yeah this, the simpsons had to move the lost boy simpsons have been there so i'll put the simpsons somewhere anyway um last night i got to see watches now big fan of the watches always has been it was a hard a really hard film for Corey him to track down in the uk bought in new zealand and i've got it on dvd and there's a cupboard over there full of Corey him and Corey film movies and uh, it was awesome to lend this off casper now i watched the film for years loved the film and um, there's a lot going on with the film wow i've just totally turned in the dark man there it's disappearing like a shadow on my face sorry about the lighting guys anyway just really quickly right i'm going to do a podcast for uh, watches too because i watched it last night and i absolutely loved it now i've grew up watching lost watches 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 read the book loved the book i thought the book kicked ass and i thought the second film borrowed a lot more elements from that so it almost took what was left over the book the good things and i really enjoyed it and i was totally over the moon so with mandy um the invisible man memoirs of the invisible man um the fog the extra features they live um village of the dam starring casper's kid kaylee all them films i had and i watched watches too last night because i was just like i just couldn't wait 20 years i've been waiting to watch it i know there's a couple more i think mark hamill's in one but i'm not in the rush to track them down but that was awesome to catch it thank you very much casper for letting that and i will give you it back eventually so as your dog soldiers on air got still down here that dog soldiers borrowed that absolutely ages ago to do a podcast and still have came back <laughs> sorry babe but i'm stephen mason this is the very end of the video thanks for watching goodbye for now